God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death. Death is coming. Death is as sure as the government is going to tax you. The next great event that's coming in your life will be an event called death. We don't know when. You may even die before you can cast that vote. But there's one thing that's sure. Death and taxes. Now I can't do nothing about taxes, but I can tell you about death. I can tell you that the wages of sin is death according to the Bible. So because you're going to die means you are a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. We are all sinners before a holy God. And the holy God says, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And yet, in your sins, you cannot come to God. God is so holy, God is so righteous, as you stand a sinner, you can't stand in His presence. He told Moses, No man can see my face, except death will happen. And yet, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish. Now, the Bible does not contradict. You can't see God. You can't be in the presence of God. And yet, you can be in the presence of God. And you can be with God. You can't do it as a sinner. You have to retain righteousness to stand before God. And you cannot stand in your own righteousness, for the Bible says there is none right, no, not one. All have sinned. All have come to short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. So how do you stand before a holy God as a sinner, and you can't stand before God as a holy sinner because you are a sinner? you got to have the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ, which died upon Calvary's mountain, that we may have eternal life. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel that Christ died for our sins. According to the scriptures, He was buried, and He arose again the third day according to the scriptures. It's not by our righteousness, it's not of our works, unless we boast. The very fact that we have in our history a story about Jesus Christ, long time ago, in a distant land called Israel, we have a story about a man who is God, dying upon a cross, and you may say, who cares? For what? I don't... It's stupid. And yet Jesus Christ is God, and God is Jesus Christ, and He died on that cross because you are a sinner. He died on that cross to save my soul. There is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. You have got a problem with God. Your problem is you are a sinner. And yet you're going to die. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Well, you can't meet God as a sinner. Your sins separate yourself from the Holy God. You are a sinner. You have sinned. <clears throat> if I were to say, hey, people... I want you to go over there to Beach Street. But I removed all the bridges. You would say, I have no access to Beach Street. You have no access.
make a fire that burns forever. That's how good you would be to get to God. You end up in a lake of fire that burns forever on your own merit. You would walk and drop. There's no stop, drop, and roll in, in hell. You just burn. You can't get to God without a bridge. As I said, you can't get to Beach Street if there's no bridge. Over here, the drawbridge is out. All right now in your life as a sinner, going to die, your bridge to God is out. That bridge is not religion. That bridge ain't charity. That bridge ain't good works. It ain't being a good person. That's not the bridge to God. That's a bridge out, can't cross. So what do I do? How do I get to God if I can't get to God? Acknowledge the fact is you can't get to God. You can't get to God because you are a sinner. And all have sinned. There's no classification of degrees of sin. All sin is sin. Sinners cannot stand in the presence of God. Death happens. The wages of sin is death. It's a point unto man wants to die, but after this, the judgment. And in your sins, you will fail that judgment, and you'll go off into the lake of fire that burns forever. In your sin condition right now, you are hopeless. In your religion, you are hopeless. In you being good, you are hopeless. You will die without God and end up in a lake of fire that burns forever. You can't get to God. But there's access to God. By Calvary. By the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world. God says, listen, I love my creation. I want my creation to be with me. We were made and designed by a creator according to Revelation 4 to give God honor, to give God glory, to give God the praise. And you can't do that in your sins. So for God so loved the world that he loves you that he says, you know what? I'm going to provide a bridge to you. God says, I will build that bridge, not you. And I will build that bridge by my beloved Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave a sacrifice, giving, not lust. A love beyond all degree. <clears throat> a love for His creation, mankind. And I'm not talking about a love for the whales, a love for the dogs, a love for the cats. Jesus didn't die for animals. He died for the human race. Dogs don't go to heaven. But you have the opportunity to. Save the whales for the potatoes. Get your soul saved by the Lord of Jesus Christ, by His blood atonement. Now we are sinners. We can't get to God, but God has reached out to us. For the Bible says, Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is a way to get your sins removed. But it's not by man. It's not by human. It is set by the Son of God upon the finished work of Calvary's tree that Christ died for our sins. He, according to the Scriptures, He was buried. He arose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. you got to have a salvation set in the Son of God. you got to have a salvation set in the Bible. you got to have a doctrinal, scriptural salvation to cross that lake of fire to God. That bridge is the Lord Jesus Christ. That bridge can
did not be built by you it has already been built by God. But that bridge stands a little toll booth. You can't cross that bridge on your own merit. The bridge is there, but you can't cross until you come to the cross. The cross of Jesus Christ and the blood atonement. You come to that bridge, and you cross that bridge of the Lamb of God. The bloody sacrifice that Jesus laid out for us to be washed in the blood of the Lamb will make you sinless. Be washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. God is willing, God is able to forgive of your sins and forget totally to wash and atone you that you may cross that bridge to Him. Now when it comes to that bridge that God has set before us as sinners, Jesus said, I am the way. There it is. That's the way. That's the heavenly way. That's the salvation way. That is the way to God, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I'm the way. The truth. God is never capable, will not, absolutely will never lie. He's God. And yet mankind are full of lies. We lie by the dozen and we get a special for it. We buy lies in quantity. And your lies will prevent you from crossing that bridge because you're a sinner. You need to come to God with your sins and put them on the Lamb of God which take away the sins of the world. There is no lie in God and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything He spoke was faithful and true. He had truth in abundance. And you know how I know some of you are not going to cross the way to God? Because you don't want to hear the truth. You want a lie. You want to live a lie. Lie is your commerce. Lie is your communication. Lie will get you out of work. So you can go to the beach or the ball game or wherever you want to go besides work. Lies will get you that promotion. And I'm here to tell you that John 8.44 says that Satan is the father and the author of all lies. You can't come to God the Father with Satan as your father. That's the other barrier that we have getting to God. When we are born of a woman, we are born of the seed of Satan. Jesus said you need a new birth. You need, you must be born again. You see, you are walking around a child of Satan and you don't even know it. Many of you are a child of the devil. John 8, 44. Well, as a child of Satan, you ain't going to walk up to God and say, Hi, welcome me. God's going to say to you, Depart from me, I never knew you. Your reaction will be, But Lord, didn't I? But Lord, didn't I? But Lord, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You see, God doesn't take anything but the blood of Jesus Christ. And if you are a child of Satan, He ain't taking you. Jesus said, ye must be born again. You've got to get a new birth. You need an adoption in your life. That adoption happens at the cross of Jesus Christ. And it's signed, sealed, and notarized, and lawyerized at the empty tomb. You come to Jesus on the cross with the papers. I want God as my Father, Lord. And you come to the grave. He's buried. Then you bring it to the empty tomb. He's a risen Savior. He is God. He 
He takes those papers. When you put your sins and trust in what Jesus has done for you, your salvation set in the Lamb of God which take away the sins of the world, then you get the new birth, you get the papers, God has adopted you by the Holy Spirit, now you become a child of God, you can cross that bridge. You walk up to Satan and say, you ain't my dad no more. God is my father. I'm going to serve him. I don't like your wages. Now, being saved is not going to stop dying. You're still going to die. I am still going to die outside the rapture. Because I'm still a sinner. Salvation by the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ changes my life from hell to the Father. But i still got the sinning nature. I'm still going to sin. I still get vile in God. When God sees me, He sees me as His child, but He says, man, that child is wicked. That child is shameful. Very rarely does he do what I tell him to do. And yet the Bible says in 1 John 1, 9, again, if I confess my sin, he is faithful and just to wash and to cleanse me. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Never what I do, it's always what Jesus has done. You see, salvation lies on what Jesus has done and not what I have done. I can't do nothing. Even as a saved, born-again, Bible-believing Christian, I can't do nothing. I've got to go in the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm a child of God. I'm a son of God. And I still fail. And when that time comes... When that time comes, I stand before God. And He says, why should I let you into heaven? I say, Father, there is no reason why I should come into your presence except by the righteousness of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, when He died on that cross for my soul. And when He washed His blood in my sins forever, that is the only way, God, I can stand in your presence is your Son, Jesus Christ. Well done, thou good and faithful serv servant. Come on in. Why should I let you into heaven? Well, I was in church every weekend all the days of my life, God. Weren't you happy I was there in church, God? Weren't you pleased that I went to church? And God will look at you and your church attendance and say, go to hell. You don't want God to tell you to go to hell. We stand here to tell you how not to go to hell. But when God tells you to go to hell, that's eternal. Those are the most death-defying words ever to be pronounced to a man when God, the Creator of us, who died upon the cross, who was buried and arose again the third day according to Scriptures and tells you to go to hell. And you'll never come out. And you don't have to go. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. We stand here that you may not go to hell. We stand here that you may find that bridge, cross that bridge, and meet God by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Do you want to live after you die? The Bible does speak about an afterlife. Without Jesus Christ, your afterlife will be hell. Literally. You may think that this life is hell. No, this ain't compared to where you're going without Jesus Christ. There's no air conditioning. There's no alcohol. There's no medicine. There's no relief in hell. Absolutely no relief while you burn in hell because you rejected Jesus Christ as your Savior. You may have
have a pharmacist in hell, but he can't help you. He can't dispense nothing. You may have a healer in hell. He ain't going to do nothing because he can't do nothing now. And yet we bring to you the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus Christ, to get to God, the only way, the only truth, and life is by Jesus Christ. Life begins at Calvary. And when you come to Calvary and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, your life never ends. It's eternal at that moment. I may drop dead right here on this sidewalk, but the Bible says about a Christian that believes on the Lord Jesus Christ, absent from the body, present with the Lord. You see, salvation will not end death. It just makes it sweeter. If I were to have a religion come up to me right now and say, denounce Jesus Christ or die, lose your head, I'll shoot you, I'll do whatever, that's a welcome invitation. Go for it. Jesus Christ is my Savior, can be your Savior too. Now bring me to eternity. What about when you die in your religion? The one that I will stand up to, the one that I put my faith in, in will cast you in a lake of hell if you do not believe on him either. You see, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Titus 2.13, that's the blessed, the eternal hope. And we all got hope. Some of us hope that a particular person will get in the White House. Some of us are hoping for a wedding day. Some of us are hoping for the lottery. There are hopes. But there's one blessed hope, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. And if you do not have that hope of Jesus Christ, when you die, you'll be hopeless. Without Jesus Christ, you are hopeless right now, but you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You have an opportunity before you die to become in hope. You say, well, preach the love of God. It is. The love of God is Jesus Christ. There is no other love of God unless you believe on Jesus Christ to get the rest of the love. No Jesus, no love. That's it. You see, you want a God that will relish in your sins. You want a God that likes rap music. You want a God that will sit down with you and have an ice cold beer. You want a God that will watch women in bikinis. That God will be cast in the lake of fire which burneth forever. There's a holy God. There's a God that said, I am holy, be ye holy. There's never a God in the Bible who say, you are unholy, I'm going to be like you. No. Never. You've got your father, Satan, John 8, 44, if you believe that God. Well, you see, we're going to party and drink beer in hell. That's another lie of Satan. You say you're going to burn in hell. Yeah, all right, party, dude. Alcohol is alcohol. It evaporates with a flame. How are you going to drink? How are you going to party with your friends when you're all in misery and they can't stand you for eternity? They couldn't stand you for 40 years on the earth and they're going to stand you for eternity? Give me a bar. And yet, the love of God that everybody wants me to preach, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That's the love of God. You don't preach love. I preach Jesus Christ. That's the love of God. I stand here on the street corner preaching to lost people. You ain't going to hear me with lovey-dovey, lovey stories. As I preach to lost people, I'm going to preach hell, damnation, and the salvation of Jesus Christ alone. You want to move past that? You're saved. You want to do right? Come to me. We'll make arrangements. We'll get a Bible study going. We'll, we'll get going with the study of the
the Word of God through Jesus Christ. But the people here are lost. The Bible says many of the people here are lost. I'm here to preach to you about one thing, one person, one life, the Lord Jesus Christ. The way, the truth, and the life. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me, because I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. You say you really believe that? I wish you would. Yeah, isn't that the hard part? Uh, all they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer. There's the rod and staff. And even that were comforted. Even if the rod and staff were protected. You see, Job 1 and 2, Satan has a leash held by God. Thank God I, I am washed by the one that holds that leash. Thank God I, I am not the father of the one that's on the leash. What is the main point of these messages? What is the main point of being here today? And every week that we try to be here, and all the weeks that we've been here, what is the main point? You will die in your sins, and you will burn in hell without the blessed hope, without the gospel of Jesus Christ, that He died according to the Scriptures. He was buried, and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That is the words. That is the message. You are a sinner, and if you reject Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell. That's the message. And we stand here that you may know how to get out of hell. We stand here that you may know what God expects from you. And what does God expect? He expects you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Step out. Come. We will take a Bible. We will open the Bible to you and show you how to be saved. We won't ask for money. We'll get you a free Bible. We're not here to offer ham sandwiches or anything. We're here to offer Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. We're not here to baptize you. We're not here for you to be in attendance. We're here for you to believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior. Before you die. After you die, that's it. You can't come back. You can't do over. You can't apologize to God. Once you die, that's it. It's finished. And it's funny because for salvation, when Jesus died, He said, it is finished. So if God, Jesus Christ, said that salvation was finished upon the cross, and certified by the empty tomb, what are you going to add to God's salvation? Church? Really? What about places in the world where there are no church? Come on, you're really a good person? You're that good that you can match yourself with God? You really believe that you're that good? Let me speak to your spouse a little while. Let me speak to your children. Let me have a one-on-one -on -one with your boss. If you think you're so good. Really. You think you are better than God. Oh, well, I'd never think that. But you think your righteousness is better than the righteousness of Jesus dying for our sins. You think you're better than Jesus. So you'll stand one
one day is Jesus being the counterweight. And your works will be compared to works of Jesus Christ, who is God. Now, come on, who do you think is going to win that battle? I'm telling you, in hell there are no atheists anymore. In hell you will be a 100% Bible believer more than I am. But it's too late. People in hell believe in Jesus Christ as Savior, but it's too late. Right now as you're walking, living, and breathing, is the time for you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Hey, there's a road to cross right now. I've been talking about a bridge. There's a road to be crossed right now. And I've seen Florida drivers. You may not make it. You may die on this road right here with the gospel on the other side. Except you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot be saved. And death, you wake up where? Believe it on Jesus to be absent from the body, be present with the Lord. Rejecting Jesus, and he was buried, and he lifted up his eyes, being in torment. With the words that will haunt you for all eternity. That big mouth, loud mouth, idiot, that preached to us every Saturday and ruined our commerce. You're going to wish you had watermelon there? Ah, forget it. You're going to just wish you had a little drop of water. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? I didn't say if you drank the blood of the Lamb. I asked, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Jesus Christ is not to be taken orally. He's not a drug. Hey, you take Jesus seven days every day, every morning. That's not what salvation is. Salvation is the faith and belief that the blood of Jesus Christ is able and will cleanse you of all your sins, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. You got to step out of the world. You got to step out of religion. You got to step out of your family. You got to step out and step in Christ. You know, the way I, I just feel sorry for you people here week after week after week and hear me. Because I believe, and this you can take, that God's going to call me up one day when you stand before God as your judge. Now, come on, people, you really want to hear this, this rotten voice preach to you again before he catches you off into hell? You hate my voice now. You wait till I stand at your judgment. The Bible says, listen, angels and men will stand as a witness. The Bible says as a born-again Bible-believing Christian, I will judge angels. What would it be when God calls you up and you'll say, well, I never heard. Bring that loud mouth back up here. No, stop. Leave the amplifying equipment on the table. You just come up and speak. Then I won't be yelling. Then you'll be happy. I won't be yelling at that boy. I'll say, Lord, I preached to him as best I could every Saturday as much as I could be there and try to be there. What'd you preach from? Lord, this is the Bible I preached from right here. What did you say to him? I said, none other than there's Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Now where will you stand in judgment? Well, I didn't like his tone. I didn't like his volume. I didn't like how he looks. And you didn't like Jesus Christ either. See, you won't be judged by me. You'll be judged by the Jesus I preach. It's all about Jesus, folks. Get your eyes off me and get it on Jesus. You're going to stand before him one day, saved or lost.
You can't ignore it. These words have gone into your ears and into your heart and written down all eternity. The words are that Jesus saves and Jesus alone. Nothing else can wash away your sins but the blood of Jesus Christ. 